Welcome to Electron Online. In the previous two videos, we saw that with a convex mirror, as we took the object and placed it farther and farther away from the mirror, an image would be formed closer and closer and closer to the focal point behind the mirror. In the limit, as the object moved out to infinity, the image would form at the focal point. The previous video, we saw that as we brought the object closer, eventually reaching the equivalent distance of the distance from the mirror to the focal point, we saw that the image moved to the halfway point between the mirror and the focal point. The question now is, as we continue to bring the object closer and closer to the mirror, what will happen to the image? All right, let's start with placing the object at a distance of five centimeters away from the mirror. Using the equation, well, no, actually, we're going to use the rays first. The first ray we draw, and matter of fact, if this is a distance of 20 centimeters, I better put the object right about here, because this would be a distance of 5 centimeters away from the mirror. So first we draw the ray parallel to the optical axis. The ray will reflect as if it came from the focal point behind the mirror and move out away from the mirror in this direction. Then the second ray is drawn from the tip of the object to the focal point, but before we get to the focal point, it doesn't continue on to the focal point. It will get reflected away from the mirror parallel to the optical axis. The observer over here in front of the mirror sees these two rays emanating away from the mirror and the brain thinks that the image must be formed where those rays must be coming from. You can see that these, these converge right there and so the image is formed right there. Notice that the image appears to be coming closer and closer and closer to the mirror as the object is moving closer and closer to the mirror in front of the mirror. So the object moves to the mirror in front of the mirror and the image moves to the mirror from behind the mirror. The fact that the image is behind the mirror would make that a virtual image. Let's find the image distance using the equation S prime equals S, 5 centimeters, times, oh, I didn't write the focal length. Focal length is equal to minus 20 centimeters like it was before. So this is times the minus 20 divided by 5 minus a minus 20, which is minus 100 divided by 25 or minus 4 centimeters, which means that the image is 4 centimeters away from the mirror as the object is 5 centimeters in front of the mirror. Minus indicates again that it's behind the mirror, therefore a virtual image. How about the magnification? The magnification equals minus s prime over s minus s prime, which is a minus 4, divided by s, which is 5, which is 4 fifths. That means that the image height is 4 fifths the height of the object, plus means that it's upright. The negative image distance means that it's behind the mirror and therefore a virtual image. Now let's go ahead and place the object just one centimeter away from the mirror and see what happens. Again, the first ray is drawn to the mirror and then the, the ray will get reflected as if the ray came from the focal point behind the mirror in this direction. So again, that's exactly the same as before. The second ray is drawn from the tip of the object to the focal point, but before we get to the focal point, the mirror is in the way, it will reflect the ray parallel to the optical axis. The observer here sees this ray coming from this direction, this ray coming from that direction. Where the rays appear to be coming from at the same point right there, that's where the image will be formed. So we have an image right behind the mirror as the object is right in front of the mirror. Mathematically, using the equation, S prime equals SF over S minus F, which is equal to one, times a minus 20 divided by 1 minus a minus 20, which is a minus 20 over a positive 21. And that would be about, oh, I would say that's roughly equal to minus 0 0.95. That would be centimeters, of course. So negative means that's a virtual image. It's behind the mirror. Magnification m equals minus s prime over s, which is minus times a minus 0 0.95 divided by 1, which is equal to a positive 0 0.95, which means that the size of the image is 95% the size of the object, 
and that the distance to the image is 0.95 centimeters from the mirror to the image as the object is one centimeter in front of the mirror. And so we can see that in the limit as the object keeps moving closer and closer and closer to the mirror, the image keeps coming closer and closer to the mirror from behind. Again, at any distance, it doesn't matter where you place the object, the image will always be behind the mirror when we have a convex mirror. Therefore, the image will always be virtual. And as the object moves farther away to infinity, the image tends to form at the focal point, towards the focal point. As the object gets towards the mirror itself, then the image will form right behind the mirror as well. So the image will form somewhere between the mirror and the focal point, regardless of where the object is. But as the object moves to infinity, the image moves to the focal point. As the object moves to the mirror, the image will move to the mirror as well. And now we understand how images are formed with convex mirrors.